The 805 Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Michael Rassler. Michael is the president and CEO of Hillside of Santa Barbara. Welcome, Michael. Hi, Cinder. How are you? Doing great. How That's about you? Fantastic. Thank you. Great. Well, thanks so much for being with us, and I am very eager to hear all about what's happening at Hillside these days. Wow, it, it's been a lot, um, especially you know, given the circumstances uh, in the care for our residents. We have 59 adults living with intellectual and developmental disabilities and a variety of underlying medical conditions. Mm. And uh, Hillside is their forever home. Uh, we care for them, provide programming and services, oh. food, housing, uh, all of the uh, hygiene, all of the housekeeping, um, all of the medical care, quite frankly, that uh, you know, these, these people That's need. That's a lot. It is, and it's 24-7. Uh, in addition to the 59 residents, we have uh, 102 employees, because it, it oh is 24-7, so there's a, right, right. a crew there in the evening, morning, you know, midday, afternoon, and uh, it's an incredible family, I, I gotta tell you. It sounds the, like the it. The residents themselves, you know, love each other, care for each other, look out for each other, uh -huh. and the staff, um, they care for and love the residents like their own family. Hmm. And, and the residents love the staff. And literally every day, every day there is something truly inspiring, whether it's resident to resident, staff to resident, um, you know, one of the uh, partner organizations that we work with, uh, and we collaborate with quite a few in the community. Oh, that's and, good. Um, it just really is a very special place that in Santa Barbara, you know, when, when somebody, you know, unfortunately uh, finds himself in a situation where they have a, a handicapped child, uh -huh. intellectual or, or developmental, uh -huh. and you know, we all pray and hope that it's, it's not us, but it is us, it's our families, it's our friends, it's our neighbors. And sometimes there comes a point where the family just can no longer care for their loved one uh, in a way that they'd want to. Um, they can't lift them, they don't have the equipment, uh, they can't deal with uh, the feeding or the medical needs or any of a mm. variety of other issues. And Hillside is, is a place, a very special place here in Santa Barbara where family members know that their loved ones are cared for, that they are given every opportunity to live their fullest life in whatever way that may be. Wow, now it sounds like, uh, so it sounds like there's no time limit uh, for how long a person can live there? No, in, in, in fact, um, when Hillside was founded 75 years ago, it was primarily uh, for children with uh, cerebral palsy. Oh. Those children grew, you know, and eventually it was caring for young adults and then adults and eventually transitioned to an adult facility. So uh, our, our youngest resident is 25 or 26. Okay, all right. And our oldest um, just celebrated her 77th birthday. Oh gosh. Which, which is incredible. What's really incredible, um, and her name's Barbara Williams, a lovely, lovely woman. Uh, not only did she just have her 77th birthday, but she celebrated her 66th year at oh, Hillside. Golly. She is our oldest and longest tenured resident. And I'll tell you, Barbara looks out for everybody. She's an inspiration, she's got an attitude and a, a personality to match that every day is an adventure. And oh. she keeps us on her toes as well as her fellow <laughs> residents and, and she's always looking out for everybody. Um, so it, it really runs the gamut. Sounds like it. Wow, and so Hillside is for people with disabilities, 
regardless of their age, really. I mean, what's the yeah. youngest that you would we, take? We've taken residents in uh, 19 or 20. Okay. Um, our, our current youngest resident has been there about six years, and I believe he just turned 26. So you would prefer someone 18 and older then? Yes. Okay. Because yeah. yeah, it, it's an adult facility. It's an intermediate care facility, an ICF, and there are certain standards and, and regulations and guidelines uh, that we adhere to um, you know, together with our, our partners, Tri-County Regional Center, uh, the California Department of Public Health, and uh, a myriad of uh, yeah. oversight agencies. So I haven't heard that term, intermediate care. Tell, tell us what that means. Well, it, it's the type of care that I described. It's uh, you know, the residents are there uh, you know, living as independently as they can. Okay. They, they're not locked in, it's their home. Uh, and we provide intermediate care. It's not acute care, because you know, many of them don't need uh, you know, twenty-four-seven respirator. You know, for example, gotcha. uh, but they oh, do I need you know, right. monitoring and assistance. So we provide all of that assistance through a team of uh, you know, nurses, uh, skilled nursing assistants, nursing assistants, program staff. We work with a variety of um, uh, contract people to provide uh, all of the therapies: oh. uh, speech and language, occupational, uh, physical, aquatic. Um, and some of our own program staff do some of that. So it's really life enhancing. It's truly. not just a place to be and to no, live. You're no, really no. It, it it truly, truly is a place where people have an opportunity, the opportunities that they wouldn't have otherwise. Uh, I, I don't know that a, a day goes by that everybody has somewhere to go, something to do something they're looking for or had planned the day before to do today. Mm -hmm. And our staff together with the uh, agencies in town that we collaborate with provide that through uh, transportation, through day programs. Uh, so, you know, Easy Lift is a tremendous partner that we work with. Assistance League has been incredibly okay. generous and, and partners with us. And, you know, many of the women there have, um, you know, adopted uh, residents, oh. you, know, a, you know, secret, you know, friend kind of oh, thing. Oh, that's great. Um, you know, we, we work with, with Unity Shop as well and, and Alpha Resource Center. Mm. Uh, as I mentioned, many of our residents go to their various day programs. Unfortunately, when, oh. uh, when those day programs cannot operate, uh. whether that's because of, of COVID or something else, then our residents stay in and we provide those programs and oh, services. Gotcha. So, uh, you know, over uh, you know, the, the 20 and 21 years, you know, with, with COVID, um, our operation has shifted dramatically because we're, we're not participating in none of the day programs, you know, have yeah. been able to be open until fairly recently and then with a the surge have had to, to close again. So we're constantly uh, monitoring and tracking what's happening in, in, in that and in other areas. and adjusting and engaging our work and, and workload and programs and activities to meet not so much the needs, I mean, of course the needs, but the wants of the residents. Yeah. What kind of program do they want? Yeah. Is it literature? Is it art? Is it the physical activity? You know, and, and we bring those things to them and it's a tremendously engaging uh, group that we have, both residents and the staff. That's great. So I love the way that you collaborate with so many different organizations. So you actually, you know, before COVID anyway, take people to like Alpha Resource, for example, to participate. There's no sense in reinventing the wheel unless, exactly. of course, like you say, you have to. There are some things that we do that are uniquely, you know, hillside. But we've got a wonderful community of incredible agencies and philanthropic you know, leaders and, and organizations that you know, are, are connected to, to social impact and they're uh, connected to the, the philanthropy that really moves a lot of Santa Barbara. And um, you know, your support, you, know, you folks out there, uh, not only for Hillside, of course, but for all of the organizations, thank you, thank you so much. Well. Thank you, I'm sure all of the donors would say, for all of your fabulous work. So I'll bet you, you might have a story or two for us. Um, I do, I've got a, a couple stories I'd like, like to share, and, and okay. thank, thank you. Um, they're, they're both uh, short stories. Uh, the first one's a longer short story, and, and it's about Barbara Williams, oh, um, okay. who just celebrated her 77th birthday, as I mentioned, and the entire uh, resident population and almost every staff member that was 
you know, on campus at that time. It was there in our community room to celebrate with, with a big cake. The, the women from Assistance League had, you know, it took her all week to open the presents that she oh, got. Oh, golly. And, you know, Barbara's comments were really, you know, about everybody else, not oh, herself. Oh. And, you know, just keeping people focused, you know, that, that the prize is still ahead. Oh, you know, well, and good for uh, her. Just, just inspiring. So, so that, that's the short, long story of yeah. a, you know, the resident who's been there 66 years um, and just a tremendous woman. The, uh, the, the short story might take a little longer to tell, but <laughs> you know, it, it's with regard to this uh, young man I was discussing earlier, our, our youngest resident. <coughs> and I spoke, excuse me, I spoke with, with his mom who was sharing with me the impact Hillside has had on her family and literally telling me that she has a happy marriage again, she has a relationship with her daughter again, that they can come and visit their son and be happy and be a family again. The burden of his particular medical and disability needs was too much oh. and, and it was breaking the family. Oh, gosh. And, and it is a tremendous success story, not just for the family and the young man who, who lives at Hillside, but for Hillside and, and really our community. Yeah. Because that's what it's about, is keeping family and community together to building and growing family and community. And wow. as I said, it's a tremendous success story. That's a shining example. And so let's just say that someone is watching this and they're saying, gosh, you know, Maybe it's time for me to uh, look into having my loved one uh, maybe go to Hillside. What, what would you say to that person? Well, I would say give us a call. Okay. We're called Tri-County Regional Center, you know, who does a lot of the placement in Santa Barbara, uh, Ventura, and uh, Slow Counties. Okay. Um, you know, that, that would be a, a direction. Or uh, visit our website, hillsidesb.org. You know, give us a call or, or send in a message, and, and we will get back to you and do an evaluation. And uh, you know, we're we're basically full, but things happen in transition. Sure. And uh, if it's something you'd be interested in, uh, please look into it. That's that's really great. And, and do you think that uh, most communities have a service like this? No, they they really don't. Um, most communities may have a, a variety of independent group homes or uh, some sort of assisted living okay. for, for uh -huh. folks with intellectual or developmental disabilities. Uh, but an institutional setting like this, uh, and it's 75 years old, and you know, when built, certainly yeah. state of the art, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, but at this time, we need to, to change and transition. Um, there really aren't, and quite frankly, you know, we are eliminating uh, institutional settings for this population oh. and, and moving into integrated living. And one of the, the visions that we have at Hillside is to create a mixed abilities integrated community uh, bringing senior housing onto the campus. Oh gosh. Which we think is a wonderful yeah. mix and opportunity for those seniors that had careers or professions in an area that they might want to volunteer and help with, with residents or, or be on that campus. And many of our residents volunteer and work out in the community and mm -hmm. you know, may want to help with some of the seniors. Oh, that's a beautiful so, so vision. Th th there's really some, some wonderful opportunity for collaboration and, and some synergy. And yeah. we see it as a, a beautiful campus with beautiful outdoor spaces and walking trails and, and, and connecting you know, to a lot of the other uh, work that is happening in Santa Barbara right now. So you do typically use volunteers? Typically we do, and uh -huh. we have a, a wonderful cadre of volunteers that are involved in all sorts of, uh, of activities and, and, and fun and, and helping, whether it's, it's reading or, or planting and working in the garden uh, or you know, assisting at, at, at meal or any of the uh, social activity times. Um, okay. And right now it's hard without volunteers. Sure, sure. You know, and, and, and for us, you know, unlike many businesses, um, we don't have any uh, you know, distance work. You know, you know nobody can oh, work oh, remotely. Gotcha. You're right. You know, and yeah. uh, and everybody needs to be there. And and obviously, in a in a time like you know, we've experienced, that's very difficult. And even one instance, you know, one positive COVID test, 
uh, has a, a cascading waterfall oh, sure. effect on, on the staff, on the residents, having to go into lockdown, having to quarantine. How do you, you know, move people from their mm -hmm. roommates to being in an isolation room? Uh, what are the staffing implications of that? Not being able to participate in the day programs. Um, and, and it's, uh, I mean, the, the staff has been incredible and have really oh, stepped up beyond what oh. anybody would ever imagine or even hope for. I mean, they, they truly are angels. Um, but there's a lot of overtime. There's a mm. lot of work with uh, Nurse Corps and, and other outside organizations to provide the relief work that we need because not everybody can work two shifts in a row every day or three shifts. Right. And, uh, you know, and it's tough right now uh, finding the, you know, the help we need. Um, you know, supporting Hillside, supporting the residents uh, right now uh, financially is, is critically important. Um, we, we need and we can, uh, both as an agency and as a community, uh, we need to and we can do more. And, and we're committed to doing that. Uh, we just need mm -hmm. help from the people out there uh, watching. And so, let's just say someone is uh, really interested in giving a financial donation to Hillside. Mm -hmm. uh, it's tax deductible. Yes. They can go on your website yes. and donate or they could... They can pick up the phone and call us. Uh -huh. They can go on the website. They can mail it in. They can come by and visit. Um, any way they want to reach out to us, we will respond and uh, respond with great appreciation. And uh, you know, yeah, and, and it's, it's more than appreciation. It's it's growing mm -hmm. a sense of presence and visibility. Uh, Hillside is located in a part of Santa Barbara known as Hidden Valley, mm -hmm. which is really perfect. And because beautiful. It, it is gorgeous. It is beautiful. Um, but it's perfect because we are one of those best kept secrets. We are hidden away. Yeah. And you know, unfortunately for many, many years, um, that's what we all did with our handicapped family members. You know, well, and, yes, and, and yes. Hillside is a place where they're not hidden away. They are out in the open, they are out in the community, they are out on the campus, uh, they are doing, they are living, they are enjoying, and in many, many cases, they are thriving. And, and that's, that's exciting, and, and it's fun to see. So do you have any, uh, I don't know, fundraising events coming up in the near future? Yes. Or uh, that you have every year? Thank you. Yeah, we, we have uh, an annual uh, soiree. That's our big gala. Uh, oh, if if you haven't received your invitations yet, uh, you should expect it momentarily. Uh, and um, you can always visit our website mm -hmm. and just you know go to that drop-down tab for soiree and register or make a gift there directly. And I think many in your audience know about our Shining Light on Abilities oh, holiday yes. light display uh, every December. Uh, the Santa Barbara trolley comes through Hillside and, and it's actually an incredible uh, interactive light display. It uh, is. With um, uh, a Santa sled that you can actually go on and sit amongst the toys yeah. and uh, an, uh, an adaptive Santa sled. So if you have a loved one in a wheelchair, they get to ride with Santa too. Um, <laughs> oh, that's and there's great. a reindeer and there's a snowman and there's a polar bear and lights in the trees. Yeah. It's, it's really a highlight for the, uh, you know, the, the Santa, Bar Santa Barbara uh, trolley light tour. So uh, yeah. if you haven't ever done that, oh. uh, this is a year to get on the, uh, on the trolley. And, and you can also just, as you're driving through neighborhoods looking at lights during the holidays, come on over to, uh, to Hillside. And, uh, and see what we have on display. Yeah, that's and, very And we fun. have corporate sponsors and oh, individual oh sponsors as good, well. Good. So um, you know, if, if you'd like uh, several thousand people of Santa Barbara that will drive through uh, Hillside for the uh, Shining Light on Abilities All holiday right. display, you know, we'd be happy to help put your company's uh, you know, name in front of everybody. Good, that's a great opportunity. Yeah. So we have about a minute left. Is there anything uh, in particular that you'd wanna add so that people know more about Hillside? Well, I would encourage everybody uh, to visit our website, uh, hillsidesb.org. Uh -huh. Everything you'd want to know is there, uh, you know, from you know, different statistics to videos, photographs, stories, um, you know, as well as an opportunity to meet some of the, uh, the staff you know, who have yeah. their profiles there as well. Um, I, I will leave the audience with, if you don't know Hillside, get to know Hillside. You won't, you won't be sorry you did.
Sounds like they'll be inspired. They should be. I am every day. Good. I can see that. Well, Michael, thank you so much for being with us on 805 Focus. Thank you, Cinder. I really appreciate it. And thank you for being with us on 805 Focus, and we will see you next time.